Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to make a uh, first person character with footstep sounds, uh, running footstep sounds and Niagara dust particles and also crouch animation with dust and footstep sounds and also you will notice that crouch and uh, moving forward footstep sounds are low in volume as compared to running uh, footstep sounds. And both have dust, both have both have dust, and also in this tutorial we will learn how to convert our third person character into a uh, first person character. And you will get project files on my Patreon. Let's jump into the tutorial. Let's start our tutorial for the first person character. For that, uh, I have that third person character we will convert this third person character into first person character by changing the camera view and with that character we have these animations and these blend spaces and that anim blueprint linked it means these animations are linked with these blend spaces and these blend spaces are linked with that anim blueprint and this anim blueprint is linked with that character so it's, it is TPC, FPC, it means first person character first step tutorial series. It's 32 number and you will get project files on my Patreon. And you can get all these project files on my Patreon. So the first, so the first, very first thing, uh, we have to convert that character into third person. Right now, uh, if you see, it's in uh, third person. So we have to make it first person. For that, go into viewport and uh, delete that. We don't need it. Simply uh, now the follow camera is the child of mesh. Now go here and first of all select that mesh and in the advance pause anim. So now the animation are paused. So we can easily adjust the camera on the head now in go back to follow camera and in the parent socket search for the head bone or you can simply write here head now rotate it uh, okay 90 is fine now if you see you will see something like that okay now we have to rotate it further uh, okay, so make it minus 90 also. Now, if we see, now we have our character, but uh, it and if and the rotation is weird right now. To fix that, uh, write R O T here for rotation, and in select follow camera, and you will get use spawn control rotation. Click here and go into there bp and uncheck that orient rotation to movement and check that now come back here now you can see we can uh, watch anywhere and rotate the camera and our uh, character can run uh, right now you will, you can see that there is no animations are running it is because uh, just a moment back we Pause the enemies. So select mesh in the advance and check again. Now we have our animations working. Now our animations are working and now as camera is working fine. You can see down, up, right, left, anywhere. And the character is also rotating with the rotation of the mouse, camera and head. So now our third person character is finally converted into first person character now our second target is to use uh, crouch animation and sneaking or crouch moving forward animations on our that third person character so for that i i am using that running and walking animation and for the crouch animation go into the content folder characters mix demo and I am using that crouch animation from Mixamo and that 
uh, sneaking forward animation right now i am not to you i am not i will not retarget animation because this uh, tutorial is not about the perfection of animations but it is for how to use footstep sounds and niagara dust particles with your first person character and how to create uh, convert third person character into first person character so for that uh, for the simplicity i i will use compatible skeleton if you notice that our mixamo skeleton uh, which is here has the same bone hierarchy and names as uh, our uh, unreal engine 5 default mannequin go into mannequins and meshes and so this is our unreal engine default unreal engine 5 default mannequin skeleton and this is our mixamo skeleton so uh, you can get a plugin or you can get a, a converter through which you can convert mixamo uh, bones um, mixamo skeleton bones into unreal engine 5 um, bone hierarchy so right now it is already converted and i will put a link in the description about that uh, converter also so in if we have these bones 100% compatible with the uh, unreal engine skeleton then we can use a uh, skeleton compatible go into windows asset details inside the compatible skeletons select the unreal engine default and uh, that skeleton now go back to that skeleton into the windows asset details and select the mixamo skeleton which is that one. now after that the animations using that skeleton can be used with the characters using that skeleton and the animations on the using that skeleton can be used on characters using this uh, skeleton without retargeting uh, but sometimes the results are not perfect and right now we will also not get perfect results on animation side but it will do the job for this tutorial so and uh, now we have that explanation now go back to our now we have that uh, go back to our content again tutorials easy game mechanics in 32 and we have already created that uh, blend space of crouch and crouch moving forward now you can notice that these animations are not perfect as i already told you but we will create that blend space once again uh, simply go here right click here go into animation in the legacy blend space 1d we need that and select the unreal engine default uh, unreal engine 5 mannequin skeleton which is this one now uh, we can name it blend space mm uh, crows uh, walk first person character foot steps now we can call it one so this is the one which i created before and this is the new one simply go here and select the and search for crouch animation now you can see this is our unreal engine 5 skeleton but we have and that mixamo animation is also available here because of the compatible skeleton which we did before now drag it here and after that search for sneak animation and make it now now the, our animations are working fine so our blend space is ready go back to uh, anim blueprint and go into the event graphs now now we need an information uh, that our character is crouched for that we need to make that uh, we need to tell that our uh, character is in crouched mode for that select character movement search for crouch uh, it was uh, unchecked by default you have to make it check can crouch make it yes after that 
and you can use any button or you can use enhanced inputs C and uh, make a variable here is crouching or you can see it can crouch you can call it any on press C yes and on release false and now search for crouch and for the uh, uncrouch now we are telling Unreal Engine that we want to crouch when we press C and when we release C we want to uncrouch go back want to go back to our standing position if we play here you will notice that nothing will happen if I press C because we have to do uh, we have to do uh, a little logical work here so in there uh, okay copy that paste here oh, sorry cast to first person character first person character footsteps connect it now search for get can uh, crouch get can crouch and also create a variable here can crouch underscore ending and it go now whenever we press C here this boolean will go true and as we are getting this uh, information from here from our first person character it will make it true also so now we are communicating between this class and our anim blueprint class so now compile go into the anim graph go into the locomotion in the idle now first of all uh, we have idle animation and we want to uh, make our character go into idle crouch animation when we press C and when we are not moving so for that we need to search for crouch animation now we have that crouch animation if I plug it directly you can see our character is in crouch animation and definitely it is not the perfect this uh, tutorial is not about the prof uh, how to uh, convert animations perfectly now now we have to select between these two animations based on our that boolean okay so there is a node called blend pose boolean so connect it to and connect that with false go to there and it is not boolean so now when we have a uh, true here it will it means uh, when uh, we have a true here that standing animation standing idle animation will go there and when we have a false here that crouch idle animation will go there so now if we make a true here it means our character uh, we have pressed C it will uh, inverse it uh, con invert it and the true here means a false here it means our crouch anima animation will go at output and you can preview from here can crouch if we press in now you can see also you can see which are working now right now it is working and if I press here and make it true now you can see our character is in crouch mode now we will do the same thing with our uh, locomotion and walk run animation so if you remember we re uh, we created a blend space now bring that blend space here now we have that blend space uh, which one we we created that mm crouch walk first person character footsteps one bring it here connect that 
here and again we are going to do the same thing which we done before drag it here search for um, blend posts import it that is the walking animation walking and running animation and that is crouch and crouch walk animation connect there again uh, not boolean and connect it here now we will have working crouch animation and crouch moving forward and backward animation again now we can check from here simply go there and uh, increase the speed to 500 why 500 because inside we have that 500 value you can see 500 value and also in the crouch animation we have that 500 it means when uh, we reach the 500 speed our character will start to run and when we reach a speed of 250 it will be walking and on the zero it will be standing idle and same here with the crouch animation at the zero speed it is standing uh, sitting still and on the speed of uh, 500 oh sorry we have to make it 500 uh, it is 100 go here and search for yes horizontal axis maximum axis value make it 500 also now and drag that here now is at zero it will be in crouch idle and at the 500 it will be uh, sneaking or crouch moving forward now save it go back to our anim blueprint if we want if you want to check here simply uh, make it 500 check should move now it's running and check that can crouch animation you can see now you can see there's a problem it is not moving uh, in the crouch animation uh, perfectly so for that you have to uh, disconnect that control rig and make it now you can see our animations are working fine so if we uncheck it our character is running if we check it our character is in crouch animation so now go back to there and let's see if it's working fine uh, we are running and if I press C, now we are crouching. If I press forward, now you can see we are moving forward in crouch state. So now our first person character is perfectly set up and then crouch animations are perfectly set up. Now the last part is to give them uh, footstep sounds and Niagara particles. Now for that, uh, we will use um, footstep sounds in the content folder go into the tutorials and in the sfx folder inside the footstep folder i'm telling all you uh, all these folders because uh, this project will be uh, uploaded to my pro uh, patreon soon so if you get those files you will know where uh, you can find things so this is our this is our uh, footstep sounds grass uh, let me So we are going to use that sound. So this is more prominent. For that, uh, if you want to see my uh, tutorials on how to use meta sounds uh, with the footsteps, you can watch tutorial. You can see a pop-up here, and also the link is in the description, and you can find in my footstep series uh, playlist. So right-click, go into the audio, sound cue, SC for sound cue, and SPC first person character footstep sound so go there and bring that uh, word sound here and also bring that word sound here so I am using these two sounds in order to create a random sound uh, a random note and now, now, if I play, now, every time, if you play, a random wood footstep sound will play. 
so it will look it will sound more better now we have our sound cue which is fc fcp F fpc footstep sounds now go back to in our running animation because by default our character is using running animation go back to our folder tutorials easy game mechanics first person footsteps anims and in the running animation so right now here we are going to uh, put those uh, sound cues in the notify add notify track name it sound or you can call it uh, foot tap sound now pause it drag it back and find the position where our left foot touches the ground uh, right here right click add notify play sound click here and search for our created f first person character so you can use that sound cue and also you can use simple sound wave uh, simple sound wave it's up to you and uh, again copy that go there and again press oh sorry uh, uh, click here and control v now it goes up because of the congested space go there and the place again the where the foot touches the ground control v again when our right foot touches the ground control v again control v and again now we have our uh, footstep sounds working if you play it now go and let's play it here mm. now you can see yeah you can hear every time the foot a foot touches the ground a random sound is playing so go back to our running animation now it's time to put niagara particles here so in my previous tutorial uh, you can find uh, you can see a pop-up here and also the link is in description in the last tutorial about uh, footstep dust niagara you can find how i created and that niagara particle it is very simple simply i created the empty niagara system and in there in the emitted uh, spawn rate i have i give the value of 10 and in the add velocity i give these values and in the initialize particle i give random here and lifetime these values and uniform sphere that values and in the color i give it a brownish color and in the system state loop once and loop duration 0 0.8 so you can watch my previous tutorial to see how we how you can create a niagara system so also we are going to use same niagara system in here simply again notify add track and call it dust or niagara just like before right click here add notify play niagara and in there drag it here now you will notice that we have niagara particles go there copy it control c control v again control v again and do it for every time the foot touches the ground so now now we have our niagara dust particles working fine but there is a one problem and then which is if you notice that our right foot and the left foot are there but the niagara particles still spawn at the center so in order to make them align to the right foot and the left feet we will do the following thing okay so go back here in the left foot here so now we want to move our niagara particle on the x-axis there so on the left side in that direction we have a positive value and on the left uh, right side we have a negative value so let's move it 14 here and if we move that slider you will notice now the niagara particles are spawning right aligned with the 
left feet. Now do it for the right feet and give the value of minus 12 and if you notice that now that particle is also in line with that. Now do it for all of them. For the left give the value of 14 or anyone which suits you best and for the right one give the value of minus 12 and again for the left 14 and for the right minus 12 now if you notice if we play it again we have aligned Naira dust particles with foots if we go back there and play it you will notice that we have dust particles if we put back T. Now we are going to do the same thing with our crouch and a sneaking forward or crouch moving forward animation. Go into the content, characters, mix ammo, and in the sneaking forward animation, we will do the same things. We have already created from the previous tutorial. Let's delete it. Let's create it. Oh, sorry. Uh, remove. Uh, and again. Okay, so one is compulsory, so that's why I name it uh, foot tab sound and find the time when our foot actually uh, this is the point where our foot touches the ground. Right click, add notify, play sound and add that sound key which we created that one uh, but uh, here we want to do a little thing if you notice uh, if you know uh, in, in the games the when the character is running it's uh, running footstep sounds are louder as compared to the sneaking or crouch uh, footstep sounds to make them low sound uh, click here Go to the voice volume multiplier, give it any value low than 1. Uh, in our case 0.4 is ok. Now copy it and place it when our right foot touches the ground, right here. Ok, ok. Control V, again do it for the left feet and right there for the right feet. Now if you'll hear it. Now we have footstep sounds crouch, but uh, they are less louder. Uh, now add another notified track for our uh, dust and Niagara. So go to that point, right click, add notify Niagara particle, and simply go back to our tutorial, easy game game 32 and Drag it. Now copy it and paste it. So fine. Now we also have to align them. So for the uh, left feet, give it a value of 12. And let's check it. So now we have to give it a value of uh, 8 here. Yes, and for the that uh, right feet give the value of minus eight, I think. Yes, so eight here, and for that minus eight. Now, if we play it, now we have aligned Naira dust particles also. So now if we play it, we have running animation and running this particle and footstep sounds. If we press C, you will notice our uh, footstep sound will get low. Now you see, we have low voice, uh, low sounds of crouching. So this was a so now we have fully working first person character with running and 
and crouch animations with full step sounds and Niagara dust particles. So this was a tutorial and you get uh, project files on my Patreon and also uh, we'll see you in next tutorial. Till then, Allah Hafiz.